5 a.m. Time to head to New York and grab this exhaust. Good morning, neighbors. So I got a five and a half hour drive all the way to upstate New York somewhere. Um, picking up this exhaust because I can't find any in stock anywhere. And this one I got for a killer deal. Uh, 280 bucks is what the guy said, but he gave it to me for 260. Need some gas. I'm excited. Finally gonna have some proper four inch tips. These are tiny. And this exhaust overall is just cheap and crap. Let's get it. Just a quick bathroom break, and we're back on our way. And there it is, the CNT V3. I went out to Summit and got the gaskets and stuff. There we go, I got it all lifted up. I got it on four separate jack stands. Two are high, two are low, just in case the two high ones fail. And then of course I got the actual um, jack still up. It's not touching, but I always take precaution just in case. So here you can see overall, my whole mid pipe is all jacked up, has leaks. That's the whole reason why I got the new exhaust. Just overall sounds raspy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just un unbolt it right here. Straight off of the downpipe. Technically, there's supposed to be a catalytic converter right here, but with this downpipe, it's all one piece and uh, that's, you know, cat delete. I have no idea what size that is. I put this one on, it's too small. I put 19 on, it's too big. 17 is way too small. I don't know if it's just really rusted. I'm not really sure. Got that one out. The other one is up there. It's a bit harder to get to. I might take that off. Try to lower it a bit so I can get my hands in there. Or I might just go from the other side. There might be more space. I'm not sure. I'm gonna head over there. Yep, there was definitely more space on this side. So I'm just gonna grab it off on this side and go from there. Well, I had to use two breaker bars. Finally, we're done with that. Well, I got that off and I did end up lowering it. Um, there was definitely not enough space. So now we just take the whole damn thing off because I don't really give a shit. The only thing holding the exhaust now is this and this one here. There's supposed to be one right there, but as you can see, that's 
custom slash ghetto and uh yeah that i could not keep so anyways i'm about to just pop this off Exhaust is gonna fall on. Yeah. Whew. All right. Now I'm tired. Look at this. Melted. Melted. Stop shooting flames, kids. Oh, there it is. In case you were wondering, this is the J2 Engineering exhaust. Except I did not get a mid pipe with it. So this is the stock mid pipe with the crimp cut out of it. And it's just clamped right here. So that's where all the leaks are coming from. And that's why it sounds so bad. And there's the new one. CNT V3. So let's see how this goes. this method. I'm just going to send it. Now we just got to get that all bolted up and then we can hang it and we're done. Yeah, yeah. Alright, one done, one to go. I know you can't see this, but I got my leg over the exhaust. I look like I'm cuddling with my freaking car. Gucci. All right. That's done. Time to hang it up and we're good. All right, I'm just gonna unbolt this. Okay. Slide it on and you're good. <clears throat> Here's another quick tip. If you if your exhaust hangs a little low, you can get one of those little clamps and uh, pretty much wrap it around these hangers and it should pull it up like that. 
All right, so I got it all up, but I ran into one little issue. The exhaust touches my drive shaft, but I'll find out. Let me know in the comments if you guys have this issue or not, because I'm not really sure. All right, so it's been a couple days, and uh, I don't know if you can see right there. I had uh, pried something between the exhaust and the frame just to keep it from rubbing. And today, I'm just gonna drop the exhaust again, and I'm gonna pound the top of that just to uh, clear that drive shaft. Here we go. There we go, I pounded that and hopefully it'll clear. You can see there, that was on my first test drive with the new exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this so it doesn't like rust or anything. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and test fit this. And there we go, it clears. Let me try to get a better shot of this. There you go. Whole thing clears. Doesn't rub on anything, which is great. Yep, it definitely rubs. I can hear it. It's not terrible, but I'm gonna park the car and pry something between it. <laughs> 